Today I thought I would update you because we just did a fragrance collection video like, like a week ago and I purchased two more fragrances kind of unexpectedly. I wasn't really expecting or wanting particularly to buy any new fragrances. I'll tell you the little story of how it happened though. I've got some miniatures up here and a couple of them are from Andy Tower and I went to smell them and unfortunately for me they have evaporated or at least one of them basically almost entirely evaporated there was literally like two drop droplets left like literally a drop um, so that was Le Air du Desert Malacane. the second one is the uh, Rose Under Kandahar I think it's called and that's evaporated by about 50% so if you have got a mini tower just keep an eye on it that it's not evaporating like mine <laughs> <laughs> Just keep an eye on it. I took the mini bottle of Towers Le Air du Desert Marocaine and I put the, the droplet that was left on my hand <laughs> and I smelled it. I was like, oh, that's nice. And I went to bed. And when I wake up, woke up the next morning, I kept getting this kind of slightly sweetened waft of vanilla-y, ambery smell that was nice. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I was kind of half asleep and then I got another waft. I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I realized, oh, it's Le Air du Desert Marocaine. And yeah, in the morning it smelled really good and it it was kind of slightly addicting as in I kept wanting to kind of smell my hand again and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to actually, I think I might just get a bottle of that rather than a mini, just buy the full bottle because I never wore the mini. So it's been a long time since I really even bothered smelling it, to be honest. So I enjoyed it that much that I ended up purchasing a full bottle, which is rare for me. I don't usually very often buy that many bottles but this one yeah I've enjoyed it so I've been wearing it quite a lot since I purchased it and I had a little bit of negative feedback from it <laughs> I went to get my hair cut you can't tell because I'm wearing a hat today uh, I went to get my hair cut and the I walked in and the the first thing he's called Carl the first thing he said to me was oh new perfume and I was like yeah actually he says it smells like, he told me it smells like honey. I was like, oh, okay. I said, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was that strong because he was busy cutting someone's hair. Uh, this young this young lad, uh, I hazard to guess to say he would have been about 15, maybe 14, 15 years old. Um, the lad that was getting his hair cut and he chimed in and said that it smelled. And <laughs> so I apologize that I must have sprayed too much and <laughs> yeah, he, he he didn't like it. He cut my hair and he said he basically said at the end you'd want to sort yourself out. <laughs> he said it goes right up your nose. <laughs> I was like, sorry, Cal. Um, so he was not a fan, but I I really like it. So yeah, so um, I have to go a little bit less on the the sprays next. I think the the how many did I spray? Mate, I was a bit generous with it because I thought it was kind of close to the skin. And I think I did about four sprays, which is kind of on the high side for me. Normally I do kind of one or two, typically, maybe. Well, for the citrus ones I do more, but for like things like this, usually one or two. But with this one it felt kind of... I wasn't quite sure how strong it was, so I ended up doing four so I could smell it myself because I like it. Anyway, that's too much. <laughs> so I'll probably reduce it to two sprays. Um, so yeah, if you're getting your hair cut, maybe don't wear this one. But no, I'm enjoying it and uh, happy it's in the collection. I think a good option for the winter. I find it actually quite comforting. It's, like I say, it's warm, kind of woody, ambery, resinousy, slightly spicy, vanilla-y kind of warmth to it. I've been buying a lot of samples recently and uh, some of the samples that I reviewed a while ago, because I, you know, obviously regularly kind of purchase samples, was Lorenzo Villaresi Firenze. The Italian company and I was quite excited to smell them and I didn't I didn't love them I thought some of them were quite nice quite you know okay I didn't feel an urge to buy any of them even though I gave them you know generally speaking positive reviews I didn't you know go out of my way to to buy a bottle so there was one that I remembered and it was just called musk it's been a long time since I smelled it um, I don't have a sample of it anymore I deleted my review of it a while ago because I looked ridiculous. Like the lighting was all, I think I'd use, use using an old lamp or something because like everything was orange and like I just looked orange 
and stupid and I'd got, I think I was wearing a shirt that was slightly unbuttoned which didn't look right on me. <laughs> so I deleted it um, out of embarrassment later and uh, so I, I couldn't even go back and listen to my own thoughts on it because it was gone and it was years ago since I smelled it as well. So I purchased a sample of it again and I wore it, I smelled it on paper, I wore it on my skin and it's got this kind of rosy kind of top note, slightly rose note, kind of a little bit musky, kind of a bit translucent almost, I was going to say watery. It's almost like a, a rose water and musk in the top notes. And then as it dries down on my skin, what it dried down to was sandalwood. I got this really nice musky, creamy sandalwood smell. And the sandalwood note was really quite nice. And I thought, wow, this is, I really like I like how this is working, like I get rose, which is one of my favourite notes, and it dries down into sandalwood, which is another of my favourite notes, generally with a kind of a light, kind of a musky overtone, and slightly sweetened, and it was just really enjoyable, I really enjoyed wearing it. Quite simple, but just very pleasant. And so I ended up buying a bottle. <laughs> So this is uh, yeah, new to my collection. It's just musk eau de toilette, like I say, rose and sandalwood. I think what tipped it for me is the sandalwood dry down because in my head I was thinking my Bikillion sacred wood is nearly empty. I've only got like a little bit left and I really like sandalwood, you know, and this dries, it, it, it's funny that this is called musk because I get, I get rose in the opening and sandalwood in the dry down and the musk is almost secondary. So, yeah, it's kind of don't go by the name. <laughs> this, the dry down is really, really like sandalwood forward for me. And I really enjoyed it. So I thought when my Bikillion runs out, this would be a nice replacement for it to give me that kind of nice sandalwood dry down that I, that I, that I like, like the smell of. So, and the kind of, kind of watery light rose top note thing, I think works really well. And I, like I say, I like rose, so. Yeah, these are my two new fragrances to my collection. I just thought I'd update you and share with you. Funnily, both of them are basically the same colour bottle. I mean, you can't really tell in the video, but they're, they are the same blue. I mean, if you shine a light through, they're very, very close. So, funnily, I've ended up two bottles of the same colour. With this one, I think will work brilliantly for the spring, ideally, but I also I could wear that in the summer because it hasn't got particularly much sweetness, just a hint as it dries down. Um, but that kind of refreshing rose, nice clean sandalwood, I think fine for the summer. And spring, autumn, perfect. And this one, autumn, winter, cold weather fragrance. So nice additions to the collection. I'm enjoying both of them. I wore uh, this one today. I wore that one the day before. <laughs> so I'm using them, I'm enjoying them and quite happy that, yeah, quite happy with them. So. If you haven't checked them out, um, I think everyone knows this one, but maybe you haven't checked that one out. If you like sandalwood dry down and you're kind of partial to a little bit of rose, you might really enjoy that one. I have a very short video today. I just wanted to update you on my purchases, which are an addition to my fragrance collection. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you soon on Friday. Take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye. One time he disappeared for oh, two or three days. When he came back, they, they asked him where he'd been, and he said, oh, just sailing. <laughs>